Okay, so we just finished Allegro. We could at this point move on to Gong Heights. But first, we'll go to Blue Mountain, because at the end of Blue Mountains, we'll get the running ability, which will make everything much faster. So for now, Twilight Gorge it is. Uh, for that first playthrough of uh, Twilight Gorge, we'll actually not grab any cages, because as I mentioned, it will be much faster to get everything when we have running ability. So for now, just walk to the right. Remember, you have a helicopter now, so we can helicopter to grab that first ring. And just swing on it, grab the next one. And make sure to jump over the column, otherwise you will fall back down. Then just try to keep holding right while avoiding everything, so there's going to be another golem here. Just jump over him and he won't be too much of a trouble. Then for the next part, there's going to be another golem and another few rings. You'll get a gold fist right here, which means you'll be able to kill that golem in only a few jump punches. Make sure to jump punch, otherwise it will take longer to die. Then, when you grab this ring, Try to hold up to get speed lock. This will give you much faster speed. And if you're not exactly sure what's going on right now, uh, go to the movement guide video. We'll go much further into detail there. So again, grab the ring, hold up, hold jump and punch, and you can try to carry the speed up to the end sign. Okay, for the second screen, at the beginning, we will try to keep holding right, to be as fast as possible, but there will be a couple of dogs in your way, so we're gonna try to jump punch as many of them to just keep holding right and be as fast as possible. So jump punch that first one, or oh, you don't have to jump punch that one, you can actually just walk and avoid him, but then make sure to, as you land, so you walk on those two clouds, jump off of them, and when you land, uh, punch that first dog. Then you have to jump punch that next one. And when you land from that jump punch, you can also punch the next one. That will take a little bit of time to get used to, but with a little bit of practice, it's really not too bad. There's going to be another one a little bit annoying coming, so you can try to anticipate it and to punch it as you land on those clouds. If you fail it, it's okay, you can punch it again here. And there, to clear that last gap, there'll be a dog coming from down. So if you jump punch uh, to clear the gap, you should al always kill him. Just like this. And then you can just hover over the next one. And you avoid every dog like this. Now there's going to be an auto-scroll section. So just keep moving, make sure to punch that rock uh, while doing jump to punch it as fast as possible and not stop. And now you're being chased by Mr. Stone. Uh, just make sure to keep holding right, because if you don't, you'll get closer and closer from Mr. Stone and he'll end up hitting you. Here, that section can be a little bit tricky, so make sure to full jump to grab that first ring. Then just swing from ring to ring, and you see that red ring? Make sure to not grab it. That ring will come go down as you punch it, so it will make it much harder to grab the next ring. So just make a big jump of the second pink ray ring, hover to get the, to the next one. This way you can just skip the right ring. Now, if you have enough health, like it is the case right now, you can just keep moving right, and you don't have to avoid um, Mr. Stone that will come to you. But if you do have only one HP, just go down and wait to, for him to pass. Because now we're gonna get hit, and while you're gonna get hit, make sure to hold up. Because this will happen. And this is just a skip that will save you a little bit less than 5 seconds, but that's pretty cool. So if you have an HP for it, Go for it. Now just fall down, following the things. Oops. Uh, and you're gonna have to punch all those boulders. You can jump over them if you don't have enough time to punch it, but definitely try to punch that last boulder, because there's a life in it and it will be helpful 
just because it's good to have more lives and also it will refund your HPs, which is convenient because we're going to do another damage boost just after. Beware that lava ball. And now here, make sure to keep her ult down or up to get damage boost to the right again and keep holding uh, up or down. And this way you'll get all the way there and you can just grab a ring. That actually skips a very long section of the game normally, so make sure to go for that. And then you can just swing with the ring normally and do everything else pretty easy and casual. Wait for that hammer. You cannot get through that section without stopping. And then for those clouds, um, you just have to know there will be a hunter at the end of the, that cloud section. So be aware of that and try to be quite fast at the end, otherwise you'll get hit by, the, by a hammer and fall back to the left. So you'll see what I'm talking about here, just make sure to duck. If you're too slow, you'll get hit by the hammer. If you're fast enough, you can even jump over the hammer and over the hunter. If not, just kill him by jump punching. And you're done with Twilight Gorge. Yeah. Alright, our next level coming up will be the Hard Rocks. Just going up, yeah. So, right at the start, uh, hold right, but drop down. Don't jump here. After the little cutscene plays. Drop down, drop down from the hang by just pressing down. And yeah, move right. And now you want to try to, like, if you're doing this all quick, you should be able to avoid these prickly balls if you have a good cycle. But yeah, whatever you do, just try to hold right and avoid the prickly balls. Now, coming up is a little cage, which is why we drop down here. So this is Hunter. Now you probably just want to, like, try to punch the Hunter out of the way with a jump punch. And maybe duck first to avoid the hammer and then yeah punch him like that but don't punch the ball then punch the cage from here from as far away as you can pretty much yeah like that and now you have two options you could drop down in the spit right here which is a little bit faster because you'll appear back at the spawn or if you feel like you don't have enough lives you can just walk back like normal and once again try to avoid the spiky balls by just yeah Kind of like that, if you just keep holding left, you can tell like if the spiky ball is down, just jump over it. If it's up, walk under it. And either way, go back up now, jump to the cloud. We don't have to go to the whole le left section, so just jump up on the cloud, duck here. Then punch this blue swinging ball or whatever. So it moves out of the way and then jump up on the next cloud as soon as you can. But stay on the left side here. Make sure you stay on the left. And then there's this cloud which we want to jump to. Try to do it as early as you can. Don't do it too early because you might not make the jump. Uh, then, well, you just stay on this cloud. Punch these blue balls out of the way. Like that. And then drop down onto the next cloud as soon as you can. But once again, not too early. You can uh, do a little jump like that to make it more safe. Then, yeah, duck under these and then jump over this one. And right here we can just duck and wait. And we can go through the blue balls. And now we can drop down from here. And this is a second secret exit sign. But we can go this route by just dropping down here and access it early now there's gonna be rings so for the rings you could just you could the the fastest way of doing it is over punching it and then keep holding up and then let go and if you're doing it correctly you'll get a lot of speed like it should look something like this that might be a little bit more tricky if you're just starting out so you could try like see what works for you maybe just play it safe and play the rings normally like the game intends you to do it should look like this careful with the red rings though the red rings uh, are annoying you sometimes you don't get a lot of height and there's this life here which uh, i would say would be worth grabbing if you feel like you're you're running out of lives it's uh really doesn't take long to grab that, but then we can uh, go to the exit sign. Yeah! 
Okay, our next screen is gonna start with us holding right for a little while. So just yeah, walk right. Now you, these guys coming up, you can just jump over them, but there's also a P down there, so you could jump punch them out of the way instead and grab the P if you feel like you need the health. Like that. Now otherwise just jump over them. Should show that as well. I think. So otherwise it would look like this when you just jump over them. Which uh, might be easier. Now, coming up next, uh, try to jump over this first uh, blue spiky ball. And then over the second one. And this section coming up is going to be a little bit tricky. So jump on the cloud. It's a bouncy cloud. So it's going to bounce you up. Now you can get a hang here or avoid the hang. And then this blue spiky ball. If you're quick enough, you can jump over it. Otherwise, uh, maybe wait a little bit. Something like that. Yeah. Then drop down for the P. There's a spawn trigger there. We need to grab it. Now jump back up through the ceiling. And then we spawned that cloud. Now, if we were quick enough, we could have like jumped over the spiky ball and jumped on the cloud right away. Otherwise, like be careful here. This this part can be annoying. But yeah, try to avoid the spiky ball and get on the cloud. Something like that. That looks good. Now, there's another cloud which we want to jump to on top. Like that. And then uh, we want to jump on the platform and crawl under the spikes. Alright, so there's a cage coming up. We want to jump. This is a little precise jump right here, but we want to jump over the spikes. Like that. Then jump over this gap because there's a spawn trigger. Make sure not to touch that spawn trigger. So like that. And then jump to the next platform and try to like jump far like that and then punch as you land to hit that cage. And then you can immediately go right again. And so move back. You can walk under these now. No, just drop down, jump back, and then crawl under again. Now you can do a damage boost here to go a little bit quicker, but uh, if you wanna like save your health, then don't do those damage boosts. There's more of those coming up, but yeah, just drop down here to the right now. So keep holding right, still keep holding right, and then right here, just drop down. And there's gonna be some cloud cycles. Try to avoid that hang or just drop down instantly from the hang. So these clouds can be tricky. You can jump to the second cloud straight away here if you're if the cycle goes like that. And then jump to the next one. And then on this one, wait a long time because it's gonna take you up. And we wanna jump to the left when the cloud is at the peak of its height. Like that. And now you can just jump up and punch as you're uh, landing. Like that. Uh, only if you have a speed fist. If you have a slow fist, just wait and charge your fist here. Yeah. Otherwise you wouldn't reach it. Now go to the right. Just walk on these clouds. Until you're on the last one, you wait. You drop down and then just crawl under. Once again, you could do a little damage boost. Not necessary though. Uh, and punch the boulder out of the way. Just take this part careful. Pun jump over the spike ball, punch the next one. Take the P. Careful for the top spiky ball. Punch this next one out of the way. And then drop down to the left side here. Like that. And then there's this checkpoint, which uh, could very well be worth taking. Because the next section coming up can be a little tricky. So we move further left and get the hang can drop to the right or yeah do it like that and then make sure to uh, jump on this cloud like that and right here a little auto scroller is gonna kick in so whatever you do just don't touch any of the sides of the screen because that will kill you or at least the left side will and uh yeah, make sure to land in between those blue prickly balls like this and then jump to the right as soon as you can. This can the auto scroller stops here. Now we want to walk right, but careful because we, you need to jump over a lava ball that spawns in right there. So jump over it and then probably wait a little bit for this uh, blue spiky ball to move out the way and then grab the hang. Yeah, careful with this blue spiky ball. 
All right, so now go left. And there's going to be another lava ball. So we'll jump over it again. And once again, right here, careful with the blue spiky ball, but try to grab the hang here. Maybe wait a second. And another lava ball, so jump over it right here. Right there. And then you want to, when these blue spiky balls are down, you can jump over them. But careful, don't jump when they're all the way up. And jump over this lava rock thing. Don't have to punch it, can just jump over it. And then these cloud cycles. So you want to, when the, the cloud you're standing on is at the bottom, that's when you want to walk off. Careful though, you want to look what, what the next cloud is at. So like that, you should be able to land on the next cloud. If you just drop off of it. And then jump to the next cloud. We can jump over this hunter, don't need to bother with him. <laughs> And right here, probably just wait until the hunter shoots his gun, then punch him out of the way. Oh yeah, and wait for him to uh, lower his gun, otherwise uh, he can't get hit. And right here, just crawl under. Now, this might be a damage boost that could be worth doing. You want to, like, right here, just buffer your left as you're crawling, hold left already. And then uh, let go of R1. Like when you're already holding left. And that didn't look good properly, so it should look more like this. There you go. Now you get a boost to the right, and then you can just keep holding right, and then you can walk under them like that. Now, that hunter, uh, you can crawl under his gun and just crawl to the end sign. Otherwise, just kill him. And there's a little life right here, which could be worth taking if you feel necessary. And now just go to the end sign. That's the end of the screen. So this next screen, Hard Rock Screen 3, we want to hold right again. Probably jump over this cloud. And then we can just, when we land, immediately jump again. Keep holding right and we should be able to jump over this lava ball. Like that. Yes. So then we go further right and there's going to be this blue spiky ball. Now... Right here, you probably just want to wait. Keep your health. You could do a little damage boost uh, on the spikes. But probably just wait, let it move out the way, and then move on. Like that. Keep walking here. There's going to be more lava balls, which we can just jump over again. Yeah, like that. There's lots of them spawning behind us, but it doesn't matter. Jump on this cloud. It's a bouncing cloud. And jump to the left over the spikes. Then this next cloud, jump on top of it once again and jump over the spikes. And just make sure the cycle isn't in the way. You could jump on top of the cloud if the blue spiky ball is down. Otherwise, go under if it's up. So keep going left. Uh, careful for that lava ball that moves in there. And right there, you want to like move and stop moving like right before the... Uh, the diagonal platform goes horizontal, so stop on the last bit of diagonal part and then do a ju stand, jump from a standstill, like that. Otherwise, uh, maybe play it a bit more safe, like jump over it and... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, wait for it a little bit to get out of the way. But either way, uh, jump on top of this cloud and then jump over the spikes again to the right. And keep moving right, jump over the spikes right there, jump over this lava ball. And there's going to be a second lava ball, which we can also jump over. Grab this B, then make sure to drop down and drop on the right side of the cloud, because that's going to uh, hit a spawn trigger. We don't have to move off of the cloud. We can just instantly bounce back up now and go to the left and jump back to the left. Or... Yeah, yeah like that. <laughs> Uh, now go right. And careful for this uh, cycle there. You might want to wait a second for that blue spiky ball to move out of the way. And we could go all the way around, but what we could also do is jump and grab this hang right here. Then just do a little tap jump and we're going to take a damage boost here. But then we can just walk uh, over these spikes like that. And now we want to take this checkpoint. This checkpoint is one that we always want to take because we're going to drop back down now. Uh, earlier we spawned in a cage. 
And this is where we're gonna want to take that cage. So go back to the right. Then jump on top of this cloud, careful for the spiky ball. Now ideally you want to have at this point one health and then punch the cage. And then after that we want to do a death abuse. So ideally we want to have one health because that will make the death abuse quicker. Otherwise just keep taking damages like this. And uh until we die and now we spawn back up to the checkpoint it's a lot faster than going all the way back around uh, so now uh, just keep holding left if, as you're spawning in here and just jump on top of the clouds which yeah should look like this you spawn in keep holding left and you can just jump on this cloud and jump over the swinging uh, spikies and avoid it like that. Now we can jump to this next cloud, but jump late because you want this blue spiky ball to move out the way like that. Or maybe just wait even longer to make it extra safe. And right here as well, wait. And you can jump over it or under it. But yeah, just take it safe and go to this next cloud. From the next cloud, we can jump to the next cloud like that. And then we can, from here, we can just bounce up. We don't have to bother with the platform to the left. Just bounce up like that. And jump on top of it when you have the, when you get the hang. Now jump on this cloud and jump over the spikes. And jump to the left to get the hang. And then right. And try not to get hit here. Now, once again, we can do damage boosts here. Maybe you just want to do one on the way back. Uh, if not, then just, yeah, go back up now. We want to make sure to grab this thing right here. This is where there's a spawn trigger. But now go back up after you spawn in the cage. And yeah, you could do that damage boost. Don't have to. But yeah, take the cage. And now this is the, the scary part because there's this golem down here. Now you want to make sure he's not throwing a rock. But you want to grab this hang and then try to avoid the golem. Oh, but right there he is throwing a rock. So maybe play it safe and jump back up <laughs> right now. Jump back up. Yeah, now, now drop down, get the hang again, wait for him. And yeah, just make sure he's not throwing rocks, but we can barely squeeze through him there. Okay, so from here, um, you want to jump on the cloud, and we're going to need to do a pretty high jump. Now, with these bouncing clouds, they can be annoying, but what can help is to activate helicopter right before you land on the cloud. This somehow, for some reason, usually gives you a very consistent good height like that. So just activate helicopter, and then jump again as you land on the cloud so right here you might want to wait a little bit because there can be if you're quick enough there can be this fragment that's going to be in your way so this is why usually we wait a second here so the fragment goes out of the way but after that just jump back up on these clouds now sometimes this golem right here likes to be annoying but usually we should just be able to jump right over him like that if not, uh, you want to be careful. He, he might already throw his rock like as you're climbing up there. But hopefully you can just jump over him like that. Okay, so just keep moving right, right here. And then right here, drop down. But as you're like jump over this little gap and then drop down. As you're dropping down, you want to make sure to punch. Because we're going to hit the spawn trigger right here. Spawns the cage. So if you do end up failing this and you don't actually hit the cage, then you want to actually climb back up. But first you need to spawn in these clouds. So you want to grab the P. Grab this P that spawns in clouds. Now you can jump on top of these clouds and climb back up. But if you're doing it correctly, you shouldn't have to do this. You can just punch the cage as you're dropping down. And now just hug the wall, keep holding right, and until you touch the end sign. And that's the end of Hard Rocks. Okay, so we are going to leave Hard Rocks and join the next level, which is Mr. Stone Speaks. And right off the bat, what you want to do is go to the right and um, buffer a jump punch to hit this boulder. So that's gonna give the musician his guitar back and in exchange he's gonna give you a potion 
to have the super helicopter power-up, which is a temporary power-up, it only works in this screen. So, what does that mean? That means that you can press X midair to actually gain height with your helicopter now. And you can actually use that to your advantage with speed locking, because uh, when you go to the right with your helicopter, it gives you... Uh, um, a bit of speed and you can actually lock that speed with up so what you want to do is go to the right jump and do two quick x taps and then an up tap and uh, or like not not a tap actually like hold up once you have good speed you can just uh press x every second or so to maintain your height and so if you succeed to do that you can actually do the first section of this screen without slowing down and by dodging all these anti tunes at the bottom. Otherwise, you might have to slow down for a cycle. Here, you can grab that P. Also, uh, regarding speed locking and all that, we do have a movement guide that you can check out if you're interested in learning more. Anyway, we are going to continue towards the next section. Here, you want to avoid the spikes. This is going to be a pretty um, tricky screen because of these spikes at first. But do not worry, you can take photographers. First, there is one here and there is going to be one later. Now, here you should be on slow fist if you did all the correct death abuses. Which means either you want to... Um, if you're on low HP, if you got hit, you can charge your fist to reach this cage. And otherwise, what you can do is just... Um, Go a bit further to the left on that um, green stone and jump punch and you will reach the cage from here and get damaged and with the iframes you could like go to the right and um, and uh, continue that way but it's pretty hard. If you do not want to do that, what you can do instead is take damage on the spikes directly to the, to the right. But either way, you're gonna want to have enough HP to do that damage boost. Uh, then it's just about yeah, trying to get whatever the fastest cycles that you can get and not get hit by the spikes. You have some small piece like this one. Yeah, you can... So, when you are in Super Heli, you cannot just drop out of your helicopter so what you can do is actually use your punch to drop out of it to fall quicker on these sections so here again you can use punch and here you can actually make it before those two enemies there is another photographer that you should take before you are able to do that screen in one go and then you can continue to the right and you will have to drop down in one of these pits this one where the P is to reach that cage. You can jump punch that cage uh, pretty much where Rayman is to the left of that uh, green gem. And then go back to the left and uh, go up while still looking to the left. And then once you're here you want to go back to the right. And yeah that section is gonna be pretty annoying. So We'll do that again. What you can do is do under that rock, yes, and here. Either you can do it in one go or slow down a tiny bit at the very end here. But um, you can also speed lock to make the cycle even quicker. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty tough part, but. Do not fear, you have a bonus life right after it, so even if you get damaged, you can just drop down here and grab this life if you're afraid. And then there is the end sign. Yeah! <laughs> so here the screen wants you to cut the ropes with your helicopter. You do have quite the time to do it, it's basically an auto-scroller, so do not rush, do not rush, as long as you do it before the, the water rises and traps you, it's all fine. And yeah, from then on it's just waiting 
until the water comes down at the very bottom of the screen. Um, there is a visual cue to tell you where you can drop out of helicopter. It's when you see that tree appearing to the right. Like, you saw it appear in your screen, that means you can just bunch to drop out of heli and go to the right. What you want to do now is go to, um, to that uh, section upwards and hang onto that platform. Then from the hang do a neutral jump just to land here and so you should have a slow fist and what you can do is actually charge your fist enough so I wait like five noises to have the max charge and then release your fist and go to the left and to the right again and that will always hit the cage. Now if you do not have a slow fist for whatever reason uh, you can just go into the pit and uh, because it won't work like your fist is gonna be too fast and it's gonna come back too fast if you do, try to do that. See here it couldn't reach the position where the cage was. But yeah pretty easy screen. You shouldn't have too many problems on that one. Okay, so on this screen what you want to do is go to the right and go on that cloud and here you can do a damage boost and actually clip through that platform. Then hold up and then go to the left and just follow along. This is an auto scroller. So holding up after the damage boost, what it does is it actually triggers the screen to scroll faster. So I just copy the movement that you see here. And uh, to note, there is a small P here. So if you want to do the damage boost but are worried about health, you can grab that. Otherwise, just continue to the left. And you want to jump on that cloud on the left, it will spawn other clouds. And so you can climb up from there. And here yeah, you want to hang on that platform, jump and go to the left while hitting the platform. And that is going to spawn the other clouds. So you can actually turn me there and otherwise don't ju just do not worry too much about it and continue to the right riding those clouds. And then you can do another damage boost. It's the same one as the first one. And at the end of this auto scroll section you can either um, wait a bit until that cloud spawns back or if you're feeling extra risky you can actually do the jump uh, very late and reach that second cloud right away. So here there is a specific thing we do to manipulate that golem. You want to hold right, jump and then punch as you land and stop for a split second so that you can jump over him. Uh, you have to stop for a split second otherwise you won't make it. Like that. Then you can continue. And here on the platform above you there is a P, so if you used uh, too much HP doing the damage boosts on the previous screen you can grab that one. Now here what you want to do, uh, so the platforms with snow are slippery so you can do a fist boost here. If you go to the right, jump and turn around mid-air and then you can start fist boosting as you land and as well as use the slope to gain some more speed. So this was a very good one. Uh, don't worry about it if you don't get one that is as good as that. The only important part is to stop fist boosting before hitting the anti tune so that you can have at least some speed. Now, we can continue by riding the, those clouds. They will spawn as you go. Then you can go up on these two clouds. And here you can once again fist boost, and uh, the important part is to release before the spikes. And here just hold right, and you will grab that photographer. It's a good one to take. Here you can jump, like do a neutral jump, so landing without pressing left or right, and that way you won't have the slippery physics. And from there you can jump again and um, heli, and that way you will always be able to um, not get carried away to the right because you want to drop down. Now if you do get to the right for whatever reason, if you fail that, don't worry, you can just helicopter and go back. So 
if you failed it, you know, you won't fail into the fall into the pit if you just helicopter. Now you want to go to the left and jump before that rock. Jump punch to jump punch the cage. That way you will always uh, get it. And as you are landing, you want to go to the right to go into the cloud and then uh, you will climb those clouds. So clouds in this game, if you helicopter before them, they give you max height. So use that to your advantage, that way you won't um, be stuck here. Now here you want to fist boost on that um, slippery platform and once you reach the end of the platform you want to do a full jump and then helicopter at the height, top height of your jump and cancel it again and do the same thing. So that way what we just did is we jumped over the triggers so we did not trigger the lava balls. It's a pretty tricky strat but I encourage you to practice it because you have the, the photographer just before it, so even though it's tricky, it's worth it in my opinion to learn it. Then you want to punch those big spike balls as you go, and here you want to go to the left in the pit, the one where there is the thing. And what you want to do from that cloud is go to the left and then immediately to the right as you're falling down, and then turn back to the left. That way you spawn the cloud to get out of this uh, small room after getting the cage. Here you can um, hang onto the platform, jump and like do a neutral jump without going right, that way you can punch that spike ball and after punching you can go right. Now here what you want to do is hang on the snow platform that you see above Rayman and then from there hang to the right and from that hang, hang to the left with jumps. And from here, you can go into the, the slippery. And so there is a jump that you can do that allows you to punch the Antitum without getting damaged. Otherwise, don't worry about it and just do it slow if you prefer. Then you can um, hang, you can actually hang onto that platform and then jump from the hang with a punch to deal with that guy. Or just dodge it like here, like this. Then here you can do another fist boost on that big uh, snow platform. Like this. And here is a life that I strongly advise you to take. It is a little bit slower than going to the right, but it's a very very good life to take because we are going to go into a boss fight. Now this boss fight can be very tricky, what you want to go to do is go to the left on top of that boulder and already hit the pendulum in the middle. And then from there, um, after that boulder drops, yeah, just go here and crawl to the right. You're most likely gonna get damaged by Mr. Stone, but that's okay. Here there is going to be a boulder that will drop above your head. What you want to do is, when you see that boulder, jump and you're gonna get damaged by it but it's also gonna um, like the game is gonna treat it as a platform that you are going to be able to jump again from so basically what's gonna happen you will jump get hit by the boulder and you can jump again on that boulder like that and here you want to hit the pendulum so that's obviously an unintended hit and you want to hit it as late as you can and you can actually hit it a bit below the um, the actual head that is on it, like on the, the lower side of it. It will still work. Then he's going to um, have another boulder drop. Uh, yeah, my bad, it's not the same hit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, here you can just jump and um, knock the boulder off his hands and so when the boulder is on the ground just grab the P to the left and use that jump to knock the pendulum once again. Here you can actually wait enough on that boulder until he is close to you and then you can actually get another hit on the pendulum. All of those hits you want to do very late otherwise uh, the sort of iframes of the pendulum won't be reset. 
then you want to go to the left and he's gonna actually throw three boulders but the first one is gonna be above you here so you can do the same unintended hits what you want to do here is duck position yourself in the middle and then there's gonna be another um, another laser hit and then another boulder from the top This one you want to do late as well, because if you do not do it late enough, this uh, cloud will not spawn. But now the cloud, is spa the cloud is spawned, so you can do another hit. And here, he's gonna do a hit with a boulder that he's going to throw, and it's gonna do a, a Z, basically, a Z shape, because it's gonna bounce back and forth. So you can actually jump on top of that as well. And you can do it without taking damage. So might as well try it. If you have the HP. Because if you fail it, it is going to damage you. But you might as well try it if you have the HP for it. And so once you're on the boulder, same thing as the other hits, you want to jump again. And on this one, you want to also hit him very late. Once he is actually in position to get hit by the pendulum. Okay, so if you do attempt the Z hit on the hit that is not the last one because you messed up, be careful to not do it too early like that, because then Mr. Stone is gonna be actually pushed away from the screen and he's not gonna come back before waiting three minutes. We call it Mr. Stone on vacation. So the Z hit you can actually do uh, in the middle of the fight, just do it late when Mr. Stone has already landed. Otherwise, it's just gonna cost you three minutes until he comes back. So obviously it's a pretty hard strat and it can go wrong in many spots. But that's how you would do it the optimal way, basically. Now do not worry, because you do have the, the life beforehand. And you do have the P in the screen. And uh, if you fail hits, just take it slow. Just don't try to damage boost when you don't have the HP for it. And here we meet Betila, who can allow us to now run, like using circle. So that's gonna be our uh, main movement for the rest of the game. And just hit the end sign.